Oh guys, I'm so excited for this one. It's in. That's right. Wham Bam Build System. Designed in Florida. Still made in China, I assure you. <laughs> this package came from me in China, but finally going to be installing it so you could follow along, see how I do it, and see if you care for a product like this. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this guy because taking the prints off the CR-10S have been, has been a meticulous job. So, uh, what all is included in this meticulously packaged thing? Uh, 310 by 320 build plate, if you're using a 10S Pro. By the way, shout out to the customer service. I accidentally ordered the 310 by 310 and I caught it, but uh, they had to fix it after I told them that. So they were able to do that. That was awesome. So you got this build plate. It's all kind of together right now. You got this little bit of package and instructions. You got the steel wool, very important. Um, why? This guy is so slick smooth. <laughs> the prints won't stick to it. So you want to scratch it up a little bit with the steel wool. So that's important. This guy tells you, hey, you know, Always keep your bed he heated basically because uh, if you just turn off the heat after a while, it's gonna pop off and you don't want that during the print. And there's these uh, instructions here. So uh, let's go start applying it. Boy, have I ever been happy to get rid of this junker. Um, yeah, the tape, yeah, that was to, to fix these kind of issues. I'm not hard on my 3D printer, I promise. I mean, I, I do print a lot, but I'm meticulous when I try to take things off yet. You still have this kind of issue, just complete holes. I mean, absolute gaps, it just happens. And a lot of people have been messaging me into this court, which by the way, you guys should join the, the description as always. But this, this is just not durable. So wham bam, but is, and we're getting rid of this guy. So here we go, taking him off. We'll need him, maybe in the future use for a different printer, we can use that. Next thing we've got to do is uh, basically unscrew these guys. You don't need them. And I don't think I need these tabs here either. All right, there it is. They're all done. Gone. By the way, the printer came with a baggie. Use it. You might want to use parts again. Put them in. Nice. Next part I gotta do. I want to make sure I clean the surface off as much as I can. I have to go crazy because this uh, this magnet side right here and the sticky adhesive needs to go on it in a uh, kind of a permanent fashion. All right, our buddy here is cleaned off. What we're gonna do here is actually. I'm gonna start peeling this off right here. I'm gonna give it about an inch all the way to the end. That way I'm gonna flip it out of the other side and apply it. Make sure that there's no air bubbles. So it's gonna go on this way. And so, I can't show you, I'm holding the camera in the other hand, but I'm gonna be pushing it on this end and pulling it on the other end and applying it. Ta-da, bam, there it is on there. Nice and tight, barely even. Almost perfect. Not hard. Again, just stick it, pull a little bit, apply, push in with your hands, and that's it. Now the next part is uh, throwing the magnet on top and getting the PEX. I don't know if it's just me, but magnets snapping together just gives me a satisfying sound. So here you go. Ah, perfect. Actually lined up pretty good. All right, now we gotta you know clean this guy off and apply the last sheet of PEX on top of it. By the way. He's on there pretty strong, but I can definitely bend him under. So, very nice build, very nice thing. After some meticulous application, I wanted to make sure no air bubbles happened. So I always, you know, stuck it and make sure the glue kept going this way, get all the air bubbles out. I'm done, there he is, all done. Now, skip this step. You don't, you don't, you don't want to skip this step. The steel wool that comes with it, you got to scratch up the surface with it. And I'm, I'm making like kind of circular motions, kind of going all around. But yeah, you want to make some scratching surfaces on it so that, you know, your prints have something to grab onto. And after all that said and done, you do your most favorite thing in the 3D printing world, which is bed leveling. Always, always bed level. By the way, if you're watching this video and you didn't buy this wham bam, you're not installing it, just a friendly reminder, still, please level your bed. You probably haven't done it in a couple months, have you? You need to do it again. I promise your prints will look better. <laughs> I hate doing it too. But yeah, uh, just scuffing up the surface, getting it with both sides. And then we're gonna bed level again. And I'll show you guys how my prints are with this. All right, bed leveling has been done. Please remember, this is not bed leveling. This is auto bed leveling. It should run it every time before it prints. This doesn't make your bed level. It just ensures to, for minor adjustments to compensate. Also, you have to turn off economic mode. If you haven't done that, 
only when you have a print going on you can hit adjust and that's where it's at but mine's turned off already so here we go let's see if uh this print succeeds on the first layer um the only thing i'm kind of worried about is if it has good adhesion or not so we'll see okay still starting the sequence Well, I'll tell you what, that's not supposed to happen. That's not bed leveled. Yeah, all right, and it looks like we have success. Um, by the way, if you feel like you've bed leveled a whole bunch, just lower your Z offset a little bit. Mine's kind of lowered a lot, but you know what, it works, it's fine. So here we go, and it looks like this is uh, doing it well. Kind of lost some string in the beginning, which bothers me but it should be fine i'll look at you guys in a couple of minutes into the print <laughs> never have i ever experienced this but guess what beginner's luck first try it's definitely on there real well it looks perfect nice and smooth and he's printing away and i'll show you guys how this print pops off tomorrow morning actually because this print is a little bit long but it's a really cool one and you should definitely check out the video when i have for it it's going to be some wolverine claws so I've been printing, printing, and printing, and I don't actually have beginner's luck. This printed almost all the way, fell over. This printed about the same way, fell over. I've had this print fail about four times now. All of them were due to poor bed adhesion. Wham Bam is nice, but you really gotta figure that part out. So I scuffed it up more. Right up, you could do some rubbing alcohol and stuff like that. And also, I tweaked my slicer settings and used a nice, raft over here so uh and it's super smooth if you can't tell and it succeeded this is the print we're going for so we'll have a video about what the heck this is but yeah it, it's a little bit inclined so it's a little difficult to print because the weight kind of falls over and if you know this tip right here isn't stuck onto the plate real well it's gonna fail so if you get a wham bam keep in mind you're gonna have to really really work on getting that adhesion well other than that, since then, I've been printing more and more, and I love it. It's great. It's as advertised. It does do well. You just, the initial installation part and getting it all calibrated takes a little bit. So I just wanted to give you guys some honest feedback. I'm not a pro that can just do this at a first time, apparently. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, but it's, it's a great product, and you'll see the next clip of how easy it pops off. A fairly tall print. Um... It wouldn't be the end of the world to try to take it off, but let's look how easy it is to do it on the wham bam. Bam. <laughs> Quite literally, wham bam, it's off.